America's defense production shifts into high. At Akron, Ohio, rubber capital of the world, this tremendous government-owned synthetic rubber plant is reactivated by Goodyear to meet the communist threat to the natural rubber sources of Southeast Asia. After 42 months of inactivity, the worsening world situation requires giant factory back in operation. Butadiene and styrene, the two principal ingredients of synthetic rubber, come from petroleum and grain alcohol. And since we are the greatest producers in the world of oil and grain, there should be no shortage of raw materials. Let's see how this life-saving substitute for natural rubber is made. To the butadiene and styrene are added water, soap suds to help them mix, and other ingredients called catalysts. These cause the rubber to rise, just as yeast does in a cake. If we could look into this tank with a powerful X-ray eye, we'd see tiny molecules linking themselves together end to end to form giant molecules. After the chemical reaction has been completed, another ingredient is added to improve the aging properties of the product. And you have synthetic latex, minute particles of synthetic rubber in suspension, like butter fat suspended in milk. Now to remove the butter fat from the milk, as it were, the latex is churned and the particles of synthetic rubber, as we'll see, come out looking for all the world like cottage cheese. The process is hurried along by coagulating agents that help form the rubber into a soft, cheesy mass. What happens here is demonstrated by a chemist who pours what look like two liquids together and produces a rubber ball. When the synthetic is washed, shredded, and dried, it comes out in a form called crumb rubber. The crumb rubber is pressed to bales or sheets that look exactly like bales or sheets of natural rubber in its crude state. In fact, for general purposes, it is almost identical to crude rubber. It can be processed on the same machines, made into the same products, and in many cases has great superiority over the rubber that comes from trees. When the enemy made his grab for the vital rubber fields, American industry was ready for him. In just 90 days, Goodyear was ready to roll.